my name is Pelle and I've been doing some sort of a video editing for almost 10 years now and these are the 5 easy transitions I would use for a music video. Let's start up After Effects and get right into the tutorial here. So the first transition is going to be a directional blur transition and you're basically going to start off by making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here your adjustment layer is going to be 6 frames in width. After you have cut your adjustment layer you're going to make a marker in the middle by pressing the star key. After that add motion tile. Here select mirror edges and increase the output width and output height to 150. After that add directional blur. Set the blur length to a 100 in the middle. And keyframe the blur length. Go to the beginning, set it to 0. Go to the ending. Set it to zero as well. Open the adjustment layer, effects, directional blur, mark the keyframes and then press F9. Then mark the keyframe and then open up the graph. Here we're going to be making a pretty sharp graph. It's going to go in like this and then put these two down a little bit, just like that. And this is how the transition looks frame by frame here. Super easy and super fast to make. The next transition is going to be a exposure transition and you're going to make a adjustment layer again, Control alt y The adjustment layer is also going to be 6 frames as the width and make a mark in the middle by pressing the star key. And the reason I make markers in the middle of a, the adjustment layer is because if you want to duplicate the transition and use it for another uh, transition spot, it's much easier to sync the transition effect to the transition spot when you have a marker for it. Add the exposure effect here. And here we're going to keyframe the exposure, set the exposure to 2.5, go to the ending, set it to 0, and then go to the beginning and set it to 0 as well. Open the layer up, effects, exposure, master, and then mark the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph. Here it's going to look the almost the exact same as the last one, sharp like this, drag on these two a little bit, and in like that. So you get this kind of fast exposure flash transition here. Super easy and super clean. The next transition is going to be a radial blur transition. And you're basically going to make an adjustment layer again, Control alt y The width of the adjustment layer is going to be 10 frames. Make a marker in the middle. Now we're going to be adding the radial blur effect. And here we're going to set the amount to 25 in the middle. Then keyframe it, go to the end, set it to 0. Go to the beginning, set it to 0 as well. Open the layer up, effects, radial blur, mark the keyframes, press F9. It's going to look fairly similar, make it sharp like this, then drag these two in like this. So you get this kind of transition here. Looks pretty really cool. The next transition is probably going to be the most easiest one to make, but it's going to be one of the cleanest one to add also. So you're basically going to add a adjustment layer, Control alt y and the width is going to be one frame. Just like that. And here you're going to be adding inverts. And here you can play around a lot with the channel here and change how the uh, invert works basically. You can make super unique looks here. And I tried out the saturation and I thought it looked pretty cool. So you get this kind of touch there. And this is how it looks here. Looks super cool. You can change it as I said to something else. Stuff like this here. Super clean, small touch to add. Super easy to make. And the last transition I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be a zoom in and out transition. So you're going to make an adjustment layer. Control alt y The width is going to be 8 frames. Make a marker in the middle. And here add a transform. And here we're going to keyframe the scale in the middle. And set it to 150. Then go to the ending. Set it to 100. Go to the beginning. 100 as well. Now we can open up the adjustment layer. Effects. Transform. Mark the keyframes. F9. Graph here we are going to make the same graph as the last graph we made. The graph is going to look something like this here. Quit the graph, press toggle switches and modes to get this tab up here and then select motion blur. So now it's going to look something like this here. Super clean and easy to make. If you guys want to save any of these transitions here it's pretty simple. If I'm going to save the uh, transform here I'm going to select the transform effect. I'm going to hold shift then select the keyframes, mark them like that. Then go to animation, save animation preset. And here you just type whatever you want to call it. Zoom in and out, save. Now I also recently made a pack called the color glitch pack. And it's available at editingvisuals.com. And I also got a discount code for you guys. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. 
and I basically want to show you guys three different looks here you can get with the pack. I mean the opportunities with this pack is basically endless but these are just three looks I just came up with pretty fast. So this first look here is basically the color glitch effect 13. I just added it to a adjustment layer and changed the blending mode to screen. You also have a curves effect in your preset and you can play around with the graph there so it's going to fit your clip. And this is how it looks. Pretty, pretty cool and unique effect, I think. And the next effect, I used the color glitch effect 18 and changed the blending mode to overlay. And this is how it looks here. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool and trippy here. Super cool look. And this is the third look I made. I used the color glitch effect 24 and changed the blending mode to vivid light. And this is the look we get here. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. And if you want to buy it, don't forget to use discount code Pelle to save $5. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video. Don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram, where we upload edits and uh, a lot of cool stuff there. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and uh, have a nice day.